Oh, okay. Just the freaking button. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sorry, we had some technical difficulties. Um... Great. And then that's interesting. All right. <clears throat> Thank you for your indulgence. Um, it is Thursday, July 11th, 2024, 9, 19 p.m. Uh, Joe notified Joe notified me. Joe notified me that he will be unable to attend tonight. Um, uh, I'm James O'Keefe, Somerville. If everyone else could please identify, that would be lovely. Steve Revelack, Arlington. Uh, Eli McGee, Lemonster. Great. Uh, is there anything to add to the agenda? Nothing here. Great. Anything for you, Eli? Uh, uh, no. Okay. So in terms of reports, um, we've had two email updates that went out. Uh, we cleaned the database of st spam uh, spam uh, users and are in the process of updating um, uh, updating Civi CRM and, and Drupal. Uh, we have a tech meeting on this Saturday at um, noon. Um, <clears throat> and um, it's also hope and hope hackers of hackers on planet earth this weekend in new york city uh we hope all who attend have a wonderful time and um for those in the greater somerville area of course is art beat so always a good time uh let's see what else um yeah, we've had various posts uh, as well. Um, no other update. Um, so in terms of decisions or endorsements, um, it was pointed out when we went to the Boxborough Pfeiffer's Day that Worcester Pride is coming up, and that could be a good opportunity to table uh, for a a wide audience. Um, it's September 7th uh, from 3 to 8 p.m. So, uh, but setup is at 11 a.m. <clears throat> that will be in downtown Worcester. Everyone would get a 10 by 10 space that they would have to furnish with chairs, table, tent, and so on. Uh, the cost is $100. So um, that is two months away or so. Um, I wanted to see if that was something we wanted to do for outreach or not. Pulling out the calendar. Also, uh, I forgot to mention this. With any luck, I'll be meeting uh, in the next day or so with Dominic, who was nice enough to join us at the Boxborough Pfeiffer's Day uh, for his podcast. I think it's a podcast? Yes. Yeah. So his, his podcast, I'm looking forward to it, uh, to talk about the pirate party. So. So unfortunately, I have, a com I have a time conflict on, the, on that afternoon. Okay. September 3rd. September 7th, rather. September 7th. Uh, okay. Um, uh, 
do we uh, would you be able to attend eli um as of now i have nothing planned but i sometimes work saturdays so there's a chance that i wouldn't be able to okay um i mean we can also put so we would need to we need to make a decision by um august 5th so uh, what we could do is um, two things. We could put together um, a sign-up form and notify people early next week and the week after that it's there and ask people to sign up. And we could also call folks in the Worcester area uh, and see if they would be willing to table. Um, and then... If we get enough people who are interested in, in attending, then we're good. We can put down the hundred dollars. And if we, uh, don't, then we reassess. Does I, that I think that's a, I think that's a good, good strategy. Does that work for you, Eli? Yeah, that works. Okay. Um, then aim to get that out uh soon then the next day or two uh so that we can give people the maximum amount of notice okay great and then i think well yeah so 11th 14 days would be the 25th so we can make a final decision then uh dependent upon how things have gone uh and then if you're willing to call um I guess just mention it on the activist list and um, you can get everybody access if you don't already have access and you can call and see who we can drum up. All right. Uh, so U.S. Pirate Party issues. Uh, is there any updates, Eli? Uh, there are no major updates. There was a slight tweak to the uh, bylaws. Uh, pretty much determining that anyone who is eligible for either like a representative role or a party officer role, mm -hmm. they have to be over the age of 18. Okay. Other than that, it's business as usual. And that's just for state parties and officers, right? Uh, yeah, like the uh, state or like the representative to the uh, U.S. Par US party. Okay. And then any officers of the U.S. party. I don't think it impacts states in any way. Okay. But yeah, that, yes, yeah, it, yeah. I just meant the representatives. Okay. Oh. Um, but so if there's there's young pirates or something like that, they they do their own thing. Yes. Cool. All right. So in terms of projects, events, um, the legislature finishes up at the end of July, um, and there's been a we've emailed our supporters and asked them to support a bunch of bills that we've supported in the past, uh, including on civil asset forfeiture. Um, let's see, what's the list? So the civil asset forfeiture, there's two different privacy bills. One's a location privacy bill and one is a broader privacy bill. Um, there's a, uh, our favorite on increasing transparency of fusion centers, of which Massachusetts has two. Um, uh, there's, uh, you know, regulating facial recognition um, technology uh, for the state and especially police and local police, um, since that's all the rage. So it would be good if these are issues that we've supported in the past. Um, and, you know, some of the bills will, uh, some of them are really great bills and some of them are good bills. So uh, look them over and if you want to support them, please do, because we have till July, the end of July. And then uh, additionally, uh, calls are best, emails are next best. And if you can set up an appointment with your state representative or state senator so much the better uh and then we'll just continue to bang on the drum to remind people because it needs to happen 
And it looks like some of them have gotten out of committees, which is amazing in Massachusetts, since so few bills ever actually get out of committee. So, all right. Uh, so local updates um, are, I mean, I, I know um, there's some, Somerville area has been doing some, um, has been doing some efforts on shot spotter and a uh, petition for um, getting people to uh, a petition for municipal broadband. Um, but not much more than that. Joe, I know is, is working in up in his neck of the woods in his district since he's on the ballot. Uh, Joe, Joe Onorowski. Uh, any other local updates? Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay. So uh, on the video newsletter podcast, um, I've noticed that the video quality has started to suffer, and I don't know. Uh, it's it's unclear to me if that's just my laptop or my connection or something. Uh, but it would be good to find uh, an alternative <laughs> means of recording it. Uh, so if anyone has the ability to do that, that would be good. Um, shall we attempt to record on this Sunday? I will be leaving uh, for vacation on Sunday. So um, no objections, but I will not be able to attend this uh, this weekend. All right. I hope you have a wonderful vacation. Sorry, Eli, you were saying something. Oh, I was saying I would be able to attend. Okay. All right. Well, I'll see who else can attend and uh, we'll go from there. So why don't we plan to do it and then just see how it goes. Uh, so for media outreach, um, yeah, one of the things about uh, updating uh cleaning out the, the database of spam users is to look at all of the records that are in there, including all of the uh, media that we've had uh, and some of the media that is sadly no longer with us, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so this weekend, I'll, I'll get the rest of the stuff that you put together, Eli, in there, and we'll clear that out. Um, So voter outreach, unfortunately, is still in process. Um, hope to get to it this weekend. And then no update on local campaigns, um, but should probably need to focus on that come September at the latest. So, Can uh, Joe's campaign accept money yet? Um, that's a good question. I, I mean, he's got a treasurer, uh, but I know he was also attempting to, um, not take donations from other people. Um, although he okay. and I have talked and I, yeah, I mean, I, I know he and I have talked about the party. We're limited to $500 so we could buy. $500 worth of flyers and then give them to his campaign to distribute. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say if, if, if you so desire, you can always donate to the party and the, that money will be, will go towards helping him. But I've got, all right, I'll, uh, I'll reach out to Joe and uh, see what, uh, and get his read on it. That would be best. Yeah. Because if we can tell people to donate to him, that would be good. All right, so uh, upcoming events I already mentioned, uh, and I see you've started to edit this, Steve. <laughs> so uh, thank you. Um, that's all I have. Is there anything else? Uh, nothing here. I have nothing to add. Uh, shall we adjourn planning to uh, meet on the 24th? Or sorry, the 25th, excuse me. July. Sounds good. 
Okay. And Sounds good. Meet, sorry, thanks. And so we've got to meet then because we've got to make the decision about Worcester. So, okay. Well, thank you very much. Thanks for folks who are watching that. Um, and with that, we hope everyone has a wonderful two weeks. Find us at massparrots.org. Bye. Sounds good.